a letter from Tokyo. Takeda Tsuneyasu, distinguished descendant of the Meiji Emperor, invites you to Tokyo to prepare Tai no Shiyaki. That's a salt-baked fish. He looks forward to your interpretation of this traditional and auspicious dish. I mean, here we're talking the Japanese imperial family. I wonder what Takeda-san is going to be like. I am Christian Bauer, executive chef and co-owner at Troika Sky Dining, one of Malaysia's most innovative fine dining restaurants. I wanted to have some fun with my European heritage and my love of world cuisine, so I came up with the idea of taking over the kitchens of royal families and reinventing traditional palace dining. My style of cooking is modern, but it always has a definite twist. Who doesn't love a challenge? Join me as I put my culinary skills to the test. Tokyo, one of the world's great cities. Lots of excitement, lots of people, and lots of food. Tokyo is not only the capital of Japan, it is also the most populous metropolitan area in the world. It is the seat of the Japanese government and the home of the Japanese imperial family. The Japanese imperial family is the longest continuous dynasty in the world, stretching back over 1,500 years. My host today, Mr. Takeda, is part of that family. Takeda Tsuneyasu's great-great-grandfather, the Meiji Emperor, ruled from 1867 to 1912 and presided over the rise of modern Japan. Meeting a member of Japan's imperial family seemed a little daunting, so I decided to seek out Dr. Yoshino Toshiyaki, an old acquaintance of Mr. Takeda, to see if I can learn a little more about the man I'll be cooking for. Dr. Yoshino, I'm really looking forward to meeting Mr. Takeda. Um, what can you tell me about him? Takeda Tsuneyasu-sama すごく after our chat, Dr. Yoshino pointed out a portrait of the Meiji Emperor, whom he said bore a striking resemblance to Mr. Takeda Tsuneyasu. The dish I've been invited to reinvent is Tai no Shioyaki, a highly venerated salt grilled sea bream that was a staple of the imperial family. Today, Thai is usually reserved for special celebrations such as New Year or weddings. Strolling through the grounds of the Imperial Palace, I took a moment to reflect on the centuries of Japanese culture and cuisine and the challenge that lay ahead of me. It's early morning, the sun is rising over Tokyo and I'm about to go off and meet my host, Mr. Takeda, at the Meiji Shrine. Looks like it's going to be a glorious day. Spanning over 700,000 square meters of forest area, the Meiji Shrine is one of Japan's true imperial landmarks. It's here that I finally get to meet the Meiji Emperor's descendant. Takeda-san, I'm Chris. Chris-san, nice to meet you. Let's go. Yeah, 
あその、えー、天皇の天皇だけが使える天皇のみが使うことができる印なんですね菊の門なんです、まあ、ここはあの明治神宮って言いまして私のおじいさんのおじいさんにあたる、えー、明治天皇が祀られている場所です First built in 1915, the Meiji Shrine is dedicated to the Meiji Emperor, who helped restore imperial rule to Japan. Before entering the shrine, it is customary to perform a small cleansing ritual, as Mr. Takeda shows me. Can you tell me a little bit about the Meiji Emperor? Hi, I'm a Meiji Tenno. まあ、私たち日本人にとってはまあとてもあの大切な天皇ですあの現在の天皇陛下があの125代なんですけどもあのまあ2600年以上まあ歴代の天皇がずっと日本の国を治めてきましたで明治天皇はあの3代前の天皇ですからだから前の前の前の天皇でしてちょうど日本がもう小さな弱い国だったところからまあ開国をしてまあ立派な国あのえーまあ、日本が近代化する上で非常にあの、えー、力を放った天皇なんです。Following our visit to the shrine, Mr. Takeda takes me to the nearby imperial treasure house, containing portraits of all the Japanese emperors and other striking artifacts from the Meiji era. Do we know what the Meiji emperor used to eat? はいあの伝えられているところによりますとあの、まあ、明治天皇は大変質素をあの是としていた方ですのであの大変あのシンプルなあの日本食を中心とされてましたただ明治時代はあの西洋文明が入ってきまして皇居の中でも正式な会では洋食を召し上がるようになりましたのでその和の和食と洋食と両方を召し上がりになったようです。<音楽> Mr. Takeda is passionate about his imperial lineage and has gained prominence for authoring several books on Japanese royal history. I learn he's also a bit of a celebrity among the Japanese and quite a foodie. To find the freshest Thai, Takeda san invites me to meet him early in the morning at a very special place. まあ、日本で一番大きい、まあ、魚の市場ですねそれであの日本の皇室もこ,この魚を使ってますですからあの天皇陛下もこの築地の魚を召し上がってるんですね The atmosphere is amazing There is tons to eat I could really spend the whole day here Every single thing you could want you can find Over there there are huge pieces of tuna being cut up Fresh to go into the restaurants today. It's absolutely amazing. Thai は日本人にとって特別な魚なんですよ。で、みんな大好きで、あのお祝いの時には必ず鯛を食べます。まあ見てもらうと、まあ色も赤いですし、少し丸いですよね。あの縁起がいい、あの非常にあの運を持ったラッキーなあの魚だっていうふうに。竹田さん told me the emperor. Used to eat Thai every single day because it's a symbol of good luck, and to give good luck to his people, he would actually eat it every day of the year. In Tokyo's Tsukiji market, all the fish is so fresh that it can be used for sashimi. So, my friend here is going to cut a little bit of the Thai raw and we'll taste it. So, this is Thai, the same fish I'm going to cook, but we're going to eat it as a sashimi. How it's important to keep that little bit of the bloodline on the fish. See the red part? When you cook it, that will turn grey. So, normally, when we want to cook the fish, we'll take that out. But for sashimi, it gives a great colour and it's also a slightly different taste from the main part of the meat. So, we need it. This time, the treat is all for me. What can I say? Just doesn't get fresher than that, does it? This is whale. No, no. To find out more about the imperial significance of the Thai, I asked Matsumoto Sakafumi, a Japanese food expert, to tell me a little more. 
特にお正月に鯛を食べる魚を食べる昔はですねどうしても魚っていうと流通がよくありませんでしたから生きたもの生のものをいただくって非常に難しかったんですよねだからどうしても塩漬けにするあとはあの発酵させたものにするどうしても生が食べれなかっただからそういうお魚をお正月にお正月迎えるにあたって神さんまたは大切なゲストのお越しのその時に最高のものでもてなしたいだから昔の人はそのタイっていうものまたは魚で鯉というものがありますこれをみんなで祝ったんです It's time for breakfast and Takeda san has another interesting place to take me to Mr. Takeda has brought me to one of Japan's most sought-after sushi restaurants. Why is this so popular? はい。え、クリスさんここは築地ですから、クリスさんのような料理人が来る場所なんですね。だから築地にあるこう飲食店はみんな料理人が食べに来るから、それはもう美味しいに決まってるんですよ。まあその中でもこの寿司台は、え、
I have been told that this is no ordinary grill. It is used specifically to cook the Thai. Once ready, the sea bream is unwrapped and placed on this magnificent display, ready to eat. Mm. That is truly a dish fit for an emperor. Delicious. After the amazing food that the Japanese chef did for us, we're going to get it right. So, I've got four beautiful Thai here, which are red snappers, local red snappers. And we're going to start off by making the sauce. I'm going to start with making a yuzu ginger hollandaise to accompany my version of the Thai. The classic hollandaise sauce is made with butter, egg yolk, white wine and vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> Never try and smell it when you put the vinegar in because it's like an electric shock. It goes straight up your nose and you feel like you stuck your fingers into a plug point. Then I add my yuzu lemons to give a delightful Japanese twist. Now, the original Thai no shoyaki is actually a deceptively simple salt baked fish. The trick is to get the salt flavor right into the fish. So I'm going to bake my Thai in a salt meringue that will completely cover the fish. A meringue is normally a dessert made of whipped egg white and sugar. But this time I will be adding lots of salt to make the meringue a pocket to steam the Thai in. To protect the fish from getting too salty, I'm going to wrap it in sheets of seaweed and season it with a little bit of pepper and yuzu. And that's our four fish wrapped and ready to be covered with our salt meringue. Now I'm just going to pop this into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes and it'll be ready to serve. All right, and here is our fish. That will be my salt meringue baked sea bream. A dish aiming for the subtlety of Japanese cuisine, but completely modern in essence. Now, will my radical reinterpretation of this centuries old dish live up to Takeda-san's expectations? I can't wait to find out. Fish in salt meringue. Mm. そうですね。相当入ってきます。相当入ってますね。この操作は何操作かな。下味もね、ソースのバランスがいいですね。かけた方が。そう、かけた方がいい。最初のりだけで、ちょっときついかなと。味がつく。柔らかくなるのね。大変です。ソースに本来と酸味がありますので。タイっていうお魚は日本はすごくあの、
これクリスさんは初めてタイを料理したんですか Have you cooked、uh, Thai first? First time. First time? Oh, really? Yes. Oh, first time. Ah. <laughs> Look first and cook first. Yes, cook、oh, first,、really? cook first. <laughs> <laughs> This is a system in which because of the salt meringue, you don't salt the fish at all,、mm -hmm. so no salt on it. But because the fillet is thin,、mm -hmm. you need to have something in between. Otherwise, too much salt will go in the fish.、Uh -huh. So, because it's done like that, the, it's actually steamed. It's not baked, it's not、mm -hmm. fried. In fact, once it's done, it's just a steamed fish.、Mm -hmm. So, very light,、yeah. very healthy. This sauce matches、uh, this、uh, food. Yeah, very good. Thank you.、Mm -hmm. Thank you. <coughs> Tokyo is always full of surprises. The food is amazing, the people are so friendly, it is just a superb experience. I hope you'll join me again next time as I continue cooking for the crown. <laughs>